Greetings to you all. I'm Wushe Sachwaya and a warm welcome to Saisi Joburg TV. We're here once again at the Saisi House in Midrand to attend today's lecture, which will be focusing on the evolution of predominantly black townships as well as the emergence of RDP houses. Now, today's lecture will be headed by Managing Director and Shareholder of Legwa Consulting Engineers, Mr. Gibedin Chumaelo. Let's see what he's got in store for us today. Housing development in, in Hunting, in Johannesburg, uh, in particular, as a case in point. Uh, the lessons that we're going to uh, talk about here are applicable uh, throughout uh, the country. And uh, some of the challenges that we're facing today, uh, you would appreciate that uh, they didn't start today, uh, they've been there uh, throughout the years. I'm joined right here by Mr. Gibi Din Chumail, who is a managing director and shareholder of Legwa Consulting Engineers. Mr. Chumailo, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for welcoming me. All right. So I want to take it back to your lecture, which we just had earlier on. You touched on briefly on the history of South Africa, which I think none of us expected. <laughs> we didn't, you know, and we didn't know that it would relate to town planning so much and what housing development looks like right now. How does it play a role in town planning and when it comes to housing developments for the predominantly black townships? Sure, yeah. Uh, thanks so much for the opportunity. Uh, the town planning is actually the, the essence or the backbone of uh, how our townships are, are rolled out or have been rolled out in the past. So what we call spatial transformation needs to happen to ensure that we have integration of the towns and the townships to make sure that people don't travel uh, far distances uh, to get to the place of work or places where they can do their shopping or uh, interact with other uh, people in the communities. Yeah. And I see in the presentation you also touched on one of the housing projects that was implemented during post-apartheid, which was RDP. And you also pointed out the challenges of a particular project like that, such as corruption, grounding problems, service problems, to name a few. What is it that Lekwa is doing that is different to RDP when it comes to the current housing developments that you guys are currently busy with? Uh, we we have actually been in the industry for a long time. We've actually been in the industry for 15 years. Uh, within the housing sector, we've done this work for 10 years. We've learned a lot of lessons on how to roll out and execute projects. So uh, what we've found is to understand the communities that we work with, understand how they receive the, the products or the services or the engineering uh, services that we give them and how those services impact on their lives. Once you have that first understanding on uh, people's day-to-day -day lives, then you are able to respond positively with designs or uh, uh, products that are functional to their day-to-day -day lives. So what we do is uh, engagements uh, starting with the end in mind and then when you do our designs and conceptualizing projects. So it's very important that uh, we understand the end users and we understand from technical perspective what we what is it that we need to do to respond to the, uh, the, the, the needs that the communities have out there. I'm joined here by Mr. Gert Smith, who is the director and shareholder at Legua Consulting Engineers. Just going back to the lecture once again, there were terms that were thrown as well, such as the multidisciplinary approach as well as the catalytic slash mega projects approach. What are the differences between the two approaches when it comes to town planning? You see, um, uh, traditionally these projects were done uh, sometimes with independent professionals where, um, and a specific a good one, good example is the uh, coexistence of the engineer and the town planner, where the town planner definitely needs input from the engineer to make sure that the layout and gradients and uh, flows of, of rainwater and sewerage and water, uh, those things are accommodated in the design. Uh, whereas the new uh, 
um, mega project it is built into that because you work with the project team with a team of specialists where all those things can uh, be integrated in a in a useful and a, a, a very comprehensive matter manner and I see looking at the current housing developments that Leg was busy with at the moment I see there's one of them there's a few residents that have already moved in what has the feedback been so far from that particular area um, I'm, I'm pleased to say that uh, as you uh, could see in the presentation um, uh, excellent projects are, are surfacing um, uh, the, the, the products of the of, of the, the, the project and um, people are delighted as the speaker has also said Mr. Nchumayalu um, people are taking pride people are greening the area which is uh, very important to make it a livable and a, a beautiful area of which people can be proud of and uh, this is definitely the way to go.